Hello there, lovely sword people. Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today we got some sword and buckler for you, with arming swords and in the style of 133, or at least what we make out of it. So you got me on the left and Stefan on the right, and you see us engaging here in free but fairly relaxed and binding focused free play. So while we engaging and striking to get an advantage in the bind, you see us uh, disengaging, lifting up the bind, trying to strike around the opposing blades and as the buckler allows, striking behind the blade to get like a Durchtreten. Uh, second one, Stefan engages quite fast with the thrust that I displaced because he had no reach. But then as I get closer and work my way in, I hesitate and not go for like a perfect buckler strike and a wrestling action. And therefore I get hit on the leg by Stefan with a cut. So the moment's always almost there. Here a buckler strike would be in accordance, but I didn't go for it and therefore got punished. In the next one I once again engage from a like half shield position. The swords go up as we get closer and closer. Stefan separates sword and shield which allows me to strike in between and hit him on the sword arm. He makes up for it though in the next bout where he nicely disengages his blade around mine. I hesitate once again way too much, which allows Stefan to then abuse his superior position to go in for the thrust to my neck. And while I get my false edge onto his sword hand, this wouldn't be any meaningful strike or any cut at all. So I try something else, try to engage a bit more aggressively. And a usual problem in 133, especially if you go for like a lot of low gear sparring, with no leg protection is that in order to protect your head and to gain the upper bind, the blades usually go up, which usually leaves a huge opening down below. So you really have to train for it to not get this artifact into your fencing. So in this one you saw Stefan imply a buckler strike, but to be honest, while fencing I didn't even recognize it. And even here I would say it's probably out of reach. Then again, you really want to be careful with your buckler strikes as they can have quite a lot of impact to displace the head and therefore have a great risk to cause concussions and so on. So in this one you see us vigorously striking with the sword to gain an upper hand but also using the buckler to get like these small microbinds either with the sword or with the sword arm or even the buckler arm of the opponent to get ourselves into an advantageous position from where I strike Stefan with a false edge. So I would call this the Nook and Play out of 133 and in the next one Stefan tries to engage in some wrestling but he doesn't get a good hold of my sword and I employ the buckler strike or I could even go for the wrestling action on his back which would be really advantageous play. In the next one we once again get to into some kind of wrestling. I really try to not hesitate anymore from half shield. I engage, Stefan goes around in like fiddle bow position. He grabs my sword, so I have to let go, get around and displace his uh, mask with my hand first. But uh, also my buckler strikes his uh, head just a bit, so we just make sure that everything is all right. So we engage in our last bout. Once again, both parties fighting for dominance in the bind or an advantageous position. And once I find it, since I see Stefan more likely striking around my blade, which I cover with my buckler, I just directly thrust to his mask. As always, we really appreciate your support via likes, subscribes and the comments. Make sure to also check out our Patreon channel and until next time, take care and ciao.